Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. We gonna die. But no, not really. We're gonna be fine. Bonk. Mm. Yes, this'll do. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Oh, we're all poisoned just by standing near him. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, so it's right. ten feet. Yeah, just hit the boy. Fuck him. One. Damn. Oh, well... Mercy's gonna... Let's see, your big boy goes next, yeah. No. I would say you focus on him, directly. Uh... Let's see, when does this boy go? He goes after Mogan. So I don't think Mogan's gonna be able to get over there in time. Skipping turn, my ass. Unless he can just attack. Yeah, just hit the man. Hit someone. Oh shit. He's doing his thing. Yes. Yes, he can make it. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him now. Do it. Kill him. Oh, that's gonna be great. Oh, they stay poisoned. Break a turn afterwards. Is there a way to actually look at the status? Uh... Uh... Diseased. There we go! Not great, but we'll make it work. One, two, three, ah. Oh, I really need to get that skill up. <clears throat> okay, there you can do your Tempest now. Him. And the other guy. Oh, that was good. Oh, oh shit. The boy's down. Uh, do you have horn? Two, three, four, five, six. six. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a wheeze. Let's see, good wonder. Uh. Oh, he's summoning. Yeah, go there, attack him if you can. What the fuck is happening here? Okay. Okay, can you, uh, yeah. Damn, no crit. Hey, he stopped doing his thing. Yeah, he no longer has a thing on his bar. One, two. Damn. Okay, so I gotta break the armor, otherwise they're just gonna keep deflecting shit. <laughs> ah! That's the stone singers, once they hit you. It causes you to be diseased, which makes you lose one strength every turn until the battle ends. Interesting. It's terrible. Yeah, it sucks. And he's dead. Did 
he dead? No, he's not. You can go for the guy in front of you. you go for the other guy here. Going for a uh, Mogan. Ooh. Okay. I could go for the archer who's weak. Crit. Crit, nice. Yes. Hit him. And Mogan's Mogan down. is down. I kind of want, uh, you know, it's dumb, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna weaken him up. Yeah, I can get over there, stab him. His armor down further. There we and go. And then up to you if you want to throw. Or no, you can. If you want to. Yes. Oh yeah. Promote. Oh fuck! There was more of them. I was. This is bad. It's five. Uh oh. Oh, That's victory. It. Yeah, because once you get overwhelmed. Blow the thing. Yep. <sighs> okay. But we can finally promote Ollie, my boy. Hmm. My new ex boy. It didn't give us any consequences. <clears throat> well, that I, skipped worries me. I skipped past it. So that was just me. Fall back, Goodmunder repeats. The opening is ready to come down. As everyone sprints to the mine, the guard captain tosses you a heavy hammer and points at a timber. You deserve the honor, he says. You turn and look at the gray sky. The snow, Bindle, and the dredge walking towards you. With a hefty swing, the timber snaps and rocks begin to fall. You drop the hammer and race down the half shaft towards the light of the torches. Cool, so we saved some lives. <laughs> Ahead, the path comes to a dead end against the smooth surface of a large flat rock. We should camp, Zephyr says, and maybe the last decent sleep these people get for days. I'll need Nichols to assist me, eh, assist me in opening Cease. the path beyond. But first, you and I should talk. Yeah, we definitely I need, need to rest. To we, we, got, we got a lot there. Uh, let's not talk to her yet. So rest first? Yeah. Just in case it does skip things forward. Uh, let's look at our heroes. Mm. Yeah, definitely have to remove a few. Hakon and Mogan need rest. And or, Bulwark, Bulwark not Hakon. We still got uh, Sigbjorn. Could bring, could bring in Folka. Or Spar, he's healthy again. We could get Krumer, he's been pretty helpful. Yeah. No, he said Spar because he does have his taunt. That's true. Do you want Spar instead of somebody? No. Uh, Alright, he definitely needs a promotion. He deserves one. Yes. Okay, let's see. Back could also use one. Well, personally, I think that's good. Right here? Okay. That's just me. Oops. Training! Oh, okay, so nothing else now. Okay, should we rest another day then? I just want to talk to him. Already. We should probably, probably rest. How does that look again? I, I wasn't paying attention. We only have a. Uh, only Bulwark, so Mogan, Mogan's back. Okay, good. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> A few small fires provide a sense of calm for the caravan, though the villagers keep well away from the ravens. There's enough light to see you are no longer in a man-made mine, but a natural cave of sorts. What are we doing down here? Staying alive and keeping Pelor from the dredge. 
I thought that was obvious. Or we keep heading down like we're hunting dwarves. The Valka gives you a ghost of a smile. Until today, no one but a few of the council knew about the tunnels, not even Menders. We didn't create them, but we have used them to a great deal over the years to travel far distances quickly. Zephyr becomes quiet, awaiting a question. I mean, obviously keep them a secret because, you know, you don't want people using them and causing trouble and shit. Mm -hmm. So, so we'll I mean... Headed. Where would you go, knowing you possess the sleeping body of an immortal sunder, sunder general? Honestly, driving to bloody Manahar. I mean, honestly, just dropping him in the river forever sounds good. <laughs> it does good. sound good. <laughs> so sounds good. It was not it's a, not a terrible plan by... We'll call her Juno for simplicity. But the closest I could get us is a path to the middle of Fodavalar Plains. I have to assume the Dredge Army is there in force. Vanahar, the safest place to secure Bellow's body. Whatever drew the Dredge Army towards us in Bindle, the Council can find a way to stop it. I doubt that. And what about my ravens? So far, helping Valka pays less than the bloodshed coin. And that is why I'm talking to you alone now. The corridor will lead us to Manhar in a week's time. Oh, that's nice. Sears here safely, and I'll give you a genuine Valka oath. You'll be rewarded well enough to never need work again. Fuck yeah! You, you look around at the cave walls and back the way you came. I mean, you don't really have a choice. We'll go to Manahar. We're, we were heading there after the Blue River anyway. I mean, yeah, you don't you don't get a choice. So. Okay, so we're fine. Uh, let's see, nothing we can do here. I mean, up to you if you want to get Bulwark back or if you just want to leave. I want to leave. I think we're not gonna get a chance for supplies, so she said a week's time. So let's not push our luck. What's going? Okay. Uh, what's going on here? You hear Folka ask a group of ravens. They're standing around a whimpering man on his knees. He kept whining about being hungry when your fighter says, We found these little glowing berries for him, but suddenly he's not so hungry. He does chuckle. Glowing berries. Should I let Folka handle this? Make your fight. Uh, we could make the fighters eat him. But that might not end well. <laughs> these little glowing berries for him. Cut it out, you growl. Next time I'll make you eat whatever it is. You yank the man to his feet and he runs off to join his people. You give no thought to his glowing footprints as he stomps through the berries. Yeah, you probably shouldn't eat glowing cave berries. That sounds bad. Especially when one guy does not want them. Ditch. Ditch? Um, oh, it probably is ditch. Um, hello. The man's sudden appearance makes you tense. I didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's something I do. I mean, something I do. Are we getting a rogue? <laughs> Something will get you killed if you do it to me again. Under... okay, yes, understood. But it does have its uses. Just allow me to fight alongside you in a... well, a fight. You won't regret it. <laughs> you scoff and turn away from... Where the, the hell does this guy come from? <laughs> <good> <laughs> I see you... I see you've met Ditch. Strange fellow to have next to you in a fight, but he finds his way through enemy defenses. Then you fight next to him. People near me tend to get hurt. But his injuries won't be an accident. Harsh, dude. Like, come on. <laughs> ditch was found in a ditch, missing most of his team. <laughs> ditch is walking <laughs> alongside a woman you have never seen before. He seems captivated by her, but her unfamiliarity nags at you. It's the... Ask Folka who she is. Or should I approach? She'll probably just leave the second I come over. Maybe. Should That's I Folka. Should I? I just want to approach Ass Ditch himself. I guess I'll approach. You turn towards the couple, but it appears Ditch has just said something to offend her. She slaps his face and takes off through the caravan. You'll keep an eye out. Damn it. That was probably the goddess, wasn't it? Maybe. Through torch, though torches highlight the craggy black rocks and puddles on the path underfoot, they do little to keep everyone together. Sharp turns around boulders quickly block lines of sight. Oh! We've lost a few families. We need to stop and find them. You've... This is the only time! 
I mean, shouting through a cave isn't gonna do shit, right? Or the echo. Yeah, it's just gonna echo out. So should we just go find them? <sighs> I mean, it'll take time. We might lose fighters. I mean, this is why I said we should have extra supplies, so this is what it's for. Alright, if you want to go for them, that's fine. Alright. I appreciate the help, she says, and splits everyone into search groups. As you search, you realize it's just as hard to track time down here as it is above with a sun that never moves. Sometime later, you think you hear voices to the left. Search to the left. You move away from the main path. You leave someone with a torch standing every so often. This route proves useless, and it seems you must have heard nothing but an echo. You follow the lines of torches back to the path. Keep searching down the path. A bit further down, you find the source of the sounds. A mother is holding her children, tucked away in the recess of a rock formation. She whimpers as you approach, and Folk says, Better let me handle this. Moments later, you all head back to meet with Zephyr. Surprisingly, all the missing clansmen were found. Yay! Clansmen forage. Oh, wait, so they... Okay, cool. Yeah, the clansmen do forage. Water barrels are running low. Hofi, your quartermaster, reports. And I'll be damned if I start licking these slimy rocks for a drink. The shield maiden looks at you. If these people start getting desperate for water down here, you cut her off. I know, you say. Send out some scouts. We'll camp here until they return. Some of your ravens and other members of the caravan group up and grab torches, rope, and water skins before heading off in different directions. Better catch some rest while you can, Focus says. Nothing to do until they get back anyway. Laying down, you focus on the sounds of a small drip somewhere in the cave. It grows louder, like the beat of a drum, like thousands of feet marching behind you. You turn and everyone stops. You see the glowing eyes of your army looking at you in admiration. A hundred members break formation to dig holes in the cavern floor and place stone bowls in the depressions. The bowls quickly fill with water and the first is offered to you. You slake your thirst before seeing your red armored reflection in the bowl. So we're seeing Sunder's thoughts or dreams. You wake mm -hmm. up with a shout, and Folka joins you. What was it this time? Instructor on finding water. That's more important. Dig holes, you say. Put bowls down in them. See if they fill with water. She sets some ravens to follow your strange commands, and shortly after you hear the whooping cheers of success. The celebration brings all the scouts back early. That's interesting. A rope bridge with wooden planking crosses an open span in the cavern formations. Looks old, Folka says. Narrow and not meant for carts. Get the menders to reinforce it. Cross carts. I would say get the menders to reinforce menders. it. Let's try. Both Zephyr and Nickel move to the crowd and begin tracing patterns in the earth. The only thing you see is a slight lift in the bridge, but they walk across first to calm any fears. The caravan crosses without incident. Yes! Okay, good. I assume if we did one at a time, even that would have been too much, and it would have just gone. Probably. Hooray, it feels like we're making good decisions again. Big ass cart. Yeah, uh, Sunder is in there. Yep. Where did we find how did we even how did she get How did him I get it in, in there? there? <laughs> Cause we we were like walking we saw his corpse as we were walking past. But there's something about this place. Something old. Unfamiliar. I don't like it. Oh crap, what is that? But I don't like all these humans on the verge of panic either. Maybe these dwellings up ahead will calm them down. I doubt it. Although, this does oh, hey, look, look interesting. Water. Oh yeah, water. We're, we were fine. Oh no. Oh, what is that? That looks bad. I don't know, but I don't like it. Looks like it's... I... There are markings on the stone above it. Ah. You're gonna stop here and you're gonna have to click on it. Or not. It's... Oh, yep. Oh, we are. <laughs> Zephyr looks up at the giant shaped formation, glittering with strange glowing patterns. The Vulcan know almost nothing about the ancient race's culture, let alone their god. Veznan. The name alone might be wrong, but we have a framework of letters based on repeated patterns found around here. Oh, well, I would continue further, but that's all the time we have for today. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.